we are at the Flux Bus, waiting to go to Dresden. We board the Flix bus, which has daily connections from Berlin to Dresden, starting at 7.99 euros. Zuallererst müssen wir Sie auf die Anschnallpflicht aufmerksam machen. Jeder von Ihnen ist vom Gesetzgeber her verpflichtet, angeschnallt zu sein. Bye. We just arrived in Dresden. That's the train station. Hostel, Lolly Homestay, and it's really cool. Very modern, cobblestone streets. And here is our hostel. We just checked in to the Lolly Homestay. This is going to be interesting. Welcome home. This car is a tabby and it's made in the DDR. It's a real car. We can sleep in here. This is so freaking cool. This is so cool. And now we have a bunk bed too. Dude, this is rad. Oh my god. I wow. love this. I love this. Oh, how convenient. There's a beer garden. made my bed and then over here and it says no to capitalism and this is the front of our car three-door station wagon so it kind of feels like I'm camping and this car is really special because it was produced for about 30 years without any major changes and became to represent East Germany so, this is where I'm sleeping tonight, and that's the tranny. It's kind of like camping. Good night from the DDR. And then the center of the city is right there. There's like cool little cafes down here. So we are walking around Dresden and we're heading to Foon's Mokery. It's a bakery and it's very famous because it was in the movie Grand Budapest Hotel. Here it is. Time to go inside. What is that, Mike? 
milk rapa. Milk rapa? Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? Good. Really good milk with alcohol. <laughs> We just got done shopping at Foon's Mockery and we bought a bunch of chocolate and soap and all kinds of goodies. There's one thing about Germany, there is no shortage of street art. Look at all this. Black and yellow. Right in the historic heart of Dresden is the Zwinga building, built in magnificent Baroque architecture. This is why you come to Dresden. Look at this architecture. This architecture is so beautiful. So by the way, it took us about two hours to get here by bus from Berlin. This is a great day trip, but better yet, you should stay here a few days because there's a lot to see, a lot of beautiful architecture. It's a beautiful sunny day in July. Justin! There's a huge tour group behind us. Ah! Ah! <laughs> It's like Dresden in one photo. They are famous for porcelain in this town. It's like a Wes Anderson movie. that this colonnade was first constructed in 1667 and is one of the few remaining early Baroque structures in Justin. Run the Atlas! Woo! We just scratched the surface of Dresden. Be sure to like and subscribe because coming up next, part two of Dresden.